hot and soon to be rainy. Yeah, those showers and storms are starting to pop up like yeah. gremlins out mm -hmm. there. It's like, oh, I, I want to rain too. <laughs> I'm going to rain too. Yeah, so they're they're starting to generate pretty quickly and it is the sign of what we're going to see this weekend. So some showers downtown Sky 5 has a great view of one right now. It's been very careful. Yeah, look at that little shower out there. I think this is the perfect definition of tiny but mighty, right? If you're underneath that thing, it is blinding rain soaking. But if you're on the outside of it, you're just looking at that rain shaft come down. So you see the top of this cumulus cloud coming up and then you've got sunshine over here. We may catch some rainbows today. Sky 5 being very safe downtown. They're actually headed in now because showers are becoming more numerous in Davidson County. So they're headed towards a safe spot and we are grateful for the viewpoint. We're going to see a whole lot more of that this weekend. Scattered showers and storms, some getting soaked, some just watching your neighbors get soaked. That's why I'm holding on to the phrasing of rain roulette, right? 50 50 chance it's going to be on you at any given point in time. Total rainfall through the weekend looks to be between one and three inches. So some will be on the lower end, some will be on the higher end. Heat does look to return by the middle of next week, but the rain that'll settle in for the weekend will cool us down. Speaking of cool, I know it's not cool, but it's all relative. Clarksville, you're in the 80s. You topped out at 90 today. Most of us made it into the 90s this afternoon. Hopkinsville, you're also sitting in the upper 80s because you also have rain nearby. None in the gauge just yet, but there are showers near you and that rain cooled air and those clouds are having an influence. So power five radars, it's really a tale of two sides of Interstate 65. We're gonna start on the east side first. We had some storms coming out of our Kentucky tier. They actually turned severe just outside of our area with gusty wind, but they've since relaxed and they're moving away from us. Behind it though, notice I mentioned that we're starting to get little gremlins generating out there. Macon County, right on the border with Trousdale, one little tiny shower, this one popping up in East Nashville, right on top of Old Hickory. So folks uh, along Old Hickory, you're gonna need to go ahead and head over to Blue Turtle Bay or whatever marina you want. Hendersonville, about to get a quick splash from that. We've also got a couple thunderstorms over towards Sparta. Not severe, but a couple rumbles of thunder, some briefly gusty wind, a couple tiny little showers trying to make their way along Interstate 65 in Williamson County. Not much, but they may grow a bit before they finally die for the evening. The most widespread showers and storms are to the west. So from Humphreys County through Perry down into Wayne, we've got scattered storms here. There were some thunderstorms up to the north and west, but that activity has started to peter out, but we're still waiting on the main event. Main event is a cold front back to the north and west. We've been talking about this front for three days. Three days ago, it was in Iowa. It is not moving very fast. And the key thing to know is as it's approached, it has slowed down even more, which means it's going to park itself on top of it this on top of us this weekend. And that's what will set the stage for multiple rounds of showers and storms. The radar right now, I think, is a good example of what I expect it to look like throughout the weekend. At any given point, someone is going to get soaked on, but it won't be you the whole time. It'll be on and off in nature. 70s tonight, just 80s because we'll have more cloud cover around. Here's a look at the visual for that to give you a sense of what this kind of will play out potentially on radar. Showers and storms decreasing in intensity tonight because they lose the heat of the day, right? So a little milder in the overnight time frame. Then we get into the afternoon hours, and while yes, it won't be as hot as today, any heat to the pan is fuel to the fire. So more spotty showers and storms in the afternoon. Again, spotty looking like Swiss cheese on radar. We'll do that all day Saturday. We're going to do that all day Sunday. We're not going to turn this faucet off until late day Monday. So again, there will be dry pockets, and if you want to try anything outdoors, just make sure that you know where you'll go. If thunder rumbles or you see that flash of lightning in the sky, get yourself into a shelter. And when it stops, you can get back out and have some fun. Our Storm Shield app, great resource when you're on the go as well, especially if you're away from your TV. You can take radar with you if a warning is issued. If a storm were to reach severe limits, it'll also notify you, especially if you've got your locations turned on and you're traveling away from your home area. It's a great way to stay weather aware while on the go. We'll dry off for the middle part of next week, Carrie, with temperatures back to that sizzling 90 degree mark. Ooh, all right. Thank you.